Sergei Slusharenko manages the Antonov heavy lift operations and cargo carrier requests coming in from all over the world. I am an operational duty attendant. We support charter flights for our Ruslans, our experimental planes. All planes that fly in NTK Antonov receive support in accordance with the orders, handlings. Kerosene is supplied in all airports from which we fly. This is our responsibility. In spring 2015, Antonov Airlines was contracted to transport a boiler from Berlin to Edmonton, Canada, for use in a new water waste plant. The mission required careful planning. The unit had to be moved all in one piece. No other means of transport was efficient enough for the job. Because these are unique planes, and cargoes are sometimes very difficult, up to the unique cargoes weighing 186 tons that are transported with Maria, for them, special time is required to prepare loading equipment. For instance, some heavy generators or welded frames and so on. This is developed by our load planning, which is a special office that looks, calculates, sometimes examines these items and says what they need. The cargo weighed 151 tons, too heavy for any other transport plane. And without the Mriya, could only have been transported by sea, a lengthy and risky transatlantic voyage. We receive commitment advice from the businesses, the transportation contract, and we prepare the schedule, select the most suitable option that ensures the safest and cheapest transformation for the customer. Then we reconcile the price and begin to plan the tasks. We submit requests to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for military transportation, and requests are also submitted for civil lines. We form the briefing and support the flight performance. The AN-225 is often in demand because of its advantages when it comes to speed and performance. In proportion, it is far more cost-effective than any means of transport although it is a massive fuel guzzler that leaves a huge carbon footprint. The time of flight performance does not depend on the type of plane. Maria is a unique plane, and it began to be used more often recently because the world market is somewhat inert. And it needs time to learn that some cargoes were transported in this or in that region. This is why recently, when the French began to transport cargoes from Africa from various difficult airports, they saw that Maria was highly efficient. Because, for instance, Ruslan can transport only 60 tons to the nearest point, whereas Maria can transport twice as much, 110. This plane, as well as Mriya, was designed for transportation of very large cargoes, and they are big planes. Big planes create big aerodynamic resistance, and very powerful engines are necessary to overcome it. Powerful engines require a lot of fuel. That is why the capacity of the fuel tanks in the AN-124 is 273 tons. 273 tons make it possible to fly for many hours, more than 24. And in Mriya, the fuel tanks can hold more than twice the AN-124. After nearly being retired, the second career of the indefatigable AN-225 had only just begun. The AN-225 flight from Leipzig in Germany, carrying a massive 151-ton boiler to Edmonton in Canada via Goose Bay, is underway. 
the crew can relax in the lounge built in the aircraft tail, while the pilots take turns at the controls, occasionally able to sleep. The flight is long, but broken up with refueling stops at Reykjavik and Goose Bay, where the glorious dawn allows the Antonov dream to live up to its name. The mega airlifter takes off on the last leg of the flight, with wings bending under the weight of the 300 tons of fuel that are needed to get it to its destination. As the plane flies empty only when it has to, for instance, after it was unloaded and has to fly to pick up a new load, the fuel tanks are almost never full. The plane is loaded and it can take only as much fuel as is necessary to fly to the next aerodrome. Despite its enormous size, the Mriya is more cost-effective than most giants of the air. Mriya needs 20 tons of fuel during the first hour of its flight, and then 18, 17 and less. The weight of the plane decreases as the fuel is burnt, and the fuel consumption decreases. So big planes need a lot of fuel. The Antonov Airlift Company has been called upon to transport humanitarian cargoes too, such as to the 2010 Haiti earthquake site and to Japan the following year. The Mriya is perfect for the job, as it is a single plane with one cargo and can get the job done in just a few days. In 2009, the US Federal Emergency Management Agency contracted the AN-225 to fly 10 massive generators into American Samoa after a tsunami damaged a power plant. On board the Antonov are 10 500 kilowatt generators. We're about to begin the offload process. They'll be brought over to our generator staging area, about two miles away. In the next several days, they will be deployed from the generator staging area out onto the island. The reason why they're here is because there's not enough generation capability on island with the loss of one of the power plants. These generators, plus the generators that we already have on island, are gonna help stabilize the electrical grid throughout the island. The reason why this plane was used to uh, transport the cargo is we have all 10 generators on one aircraft. This is the only aircraft capable of moving this load at once. Today, Antonov Airlines flies a mix of humanitarian, military and commercial missions. Last time we transported from England, East Midland if I'm not mistaken, pressure equipment for production of Jaguar car bodies. They relocated their production facilities to Detroit. USA. We flew to Toronto where we unloaded and then it was near and they transported their equipment further on themselves. There were no special technical things. The cargo was heavy, almost 180 tons, 170 and something was the weight of this pressure equipment. For Maria, such cargoes are normal and customary. The Antonov company, based in Kiev, Ukraine, constructs and designs aircraft for a niche market transporting the heaviest objects in the world that need to be moved from one place to another. As well as having the largest operating plane in the world, it has a fleet of heavy lift aircraft, many of which have the capability of landing on unpaved and uneven airstrips in the most far-flung destinations. The AN-178 is one of these planes, and a new prototype has just been built. And AN-178 is the plane that can carry approximately 15 to 18 tons of cargo, which is very important. It can carry various types of cargo, and it has a sufficiently big cabin. It can also transport marine containers. Marine containers. Rain pelts the tarmac as the new AN-178 prepares for its maiden flight from Kiev on a stormy day in May 2015. It is slowly towed into place by Antonov technicians, eager to see their new design take flight. 
As the pilots prepare for takeoff, spectators huddle along the runway, braving the bad weather to watch the new prototype lift off. This plane has a rather high speed. It can be used in unpaved airfields, and today this niche is vacant. Which niche? It is for the planes with the carrying capacity between 10 and 11 tons and 20 tons, exactly 15 to 18. After landing, the successful first flight is celebrated by decorated military officers, government dignitaries and representatives from the commercial aviation sector. It is a rare showing of public fanfare in this country ripped apart by war, a moment for Ukraine to remind the world of one of its standout industries, aircraft engineering. The recently unveiled prototype AN-178 may be part of the next generation of Antonov planes, but that doesn't mean that the life of the AN-225 is over. To fully understand why Antonov is such a player in heavy-lift aircraft, it is important to look at the market. While there are similar planes with massive heavy-lift capabilities built by Boeing, like the C-17 Globemaster III and Lockheed's C-130, these planes are for military, not commercial use, making Antonov one of the only private sector choices for the transportation of massive cargo. There is no other plane that looks quite like it. With its nose able to open up for a loading ramp and its kneeling undercarriage, the AN-225 Mriya is capable of lifting off the ground with a load of 640 metric tons and fitting four small suburban houses in its cargo bay. This monster of the skies has carried the biggest man-made objects in the world and retains its title as the largest airplane in use, even after nearly three decades. Thank God, the plane is 25 years old and we have only removable problems. I mean, it hasn't required any global improvement so far, and there was no need for them in individual systems. Everything that is worn or broken in the process of use is replaced. In other words, this is a normal operation process. Of course, planes are getting old and they need more attention, that's all. Until the aviation industry can develop an aircraft with the same heavy lift capacities, the Maria will remain one of a kind. Maria remains the largest plane or transport plane, the largest plane in general in the world. I think no one is building a larger plane so far. With regular checkups and mechanical repairs, the life expectancy of the AN-225 could be extended to 50 years in full operation, giving this mighty record-breaking aviation giant another quarter of a century in the skies.